Hi everyone, this is Arpa from the YouTube channel StarPath Academy and today I will talk a little bit about my personal life philosophy, if you will. So what I've noticed across the years, right, was that for some reason the people who lived and worked on the land all their lives a saying was sort of true for them wisdom comes with the years but I don't think that's the case for everyone now my point here is not to offend or not offend anyone the thing is that I want to ponder about this right because what I've seen was that you know take people like like my grandmother she spent pretty much all her life, you know, working. One of my grandmothers lived until she was 92 and worked till the last day she passed, right? Few last days, I should say. And she was just full of wisdom. I could always turn to her and she would have something interesting that would not never answer the question, but sort of help me find the answer in myself, right? And I was wondering, well, why can't everyone be like that? You know, why can't everyone be like that? It would be, the world would be so much different, right? And uh, I was thinking like the differences and me trying to make sense. This is me just like having a monologue about trying to make, make out what's up with all of this. And throughout the years i came to the conclusion that the biggest difference what i see is between city folk and people who lived and worked on the land for much of their lives and whether they are educated or not that's a different question but what i've noticed was that they seem to have this wisdom to them and i've noticed that especially people who work on the land with their hands and bare feet for some reason so this is all me just putting two and two together there's no i don't know if there's any you know uh, studies <laughs> or you can do research on this or not but take it with a grain of salt what i what i have seen was that people who are out in the field and see the sun as the sun rises and sees the sun as the sun goes down and are two bare feet on the ground and their heads are below the sky they have this sort of like magical properties to them by the time they grow old they're very hard to deceive, I would say. Whereas people who are willingly part of a bigger system, a city, let's say, where they cannot see as the sun rises because of all the buildings, the horizon is so much up. And by the time the sun passes the buildings, it no longer shines that light, that morning light, you know. And as the sun passes, it passes for them earlier behind the cityscape. They don't, they don't see that red light, you know, that very red light as the sun hits, the crown of the sun hits the horizon and turns super red. And I always thought, well, that has to do with something with it. And later on reading this and that and whatever, there's like, I think it has to do with pineal glands or whatnot, but I made it somewhat of a habit for myself to, as much as possible, and this is not for you, right? I'm never giving advice, but I, for myself, find it quite interesting to see when the sun comes up and you can still look into the sun with both eyes or all three of them as a matter of fact and look into it 
and just have a couple of seconds of gaze. I don't think there's need for more. Maybe, I don't know. And then the same day, look at the sun. When the sun goes down and it hits the horizon, but the horizon is the ground. It's not some tall buildings. It's somewhere very far away. And it has something magical. And uh, whenever I have the chance to do that, and whenever I have the chance, I steer bare feet on the ground as much as possible. And I try not to wear too many hats to, <laughs> to more easily communicate with the creator. No barriers. Now, as you can see, I don't even have the barrier of hair. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that, but there has to be something to it, or I feel that there is something to it. Now I do this voluntarily, right? However, the people who do this naturally and have done it all their lives, I see that they are just energized different. They have this different aura, this wisdom. and they're very hard to deceive now with that said I want to stop right here a little bit and talk about what is deception right how do you know if you're deceived or not why do you even care why is it the bad thing if you have no goals if you have nothing to achieve in the next five years if you have no quest in life and you're just wandering about and you're always just fine trying to find the next craze or you know fill the void inside of you with some kind of pleasure um what was it why is it wrong to be deceived right um i don't think you even can be deceived because you're just wandering about so i think for you not to be deceived or to care about whether you are being deceived or not you have to have a goal and if you have to if you have a goal you want to know if you're on the right path or not and with that i think i think this little ritual of looking into the rising sun gazing into the rising sun and the setting sun and being bare feet on the ground on the ground without any hats on is sort of a little sacred ritual I'm not saying it should be yours but maybe you should think about what this does to the people who do this on on a natural basis and with that said I'm gonna leave it here for you to ponder about this and we'll talk to you next time if you find this content interesting then please do hit the like button, share, and um, you know, I have a buymeacoffee.com link in the description. So feel free to use that. Thank you very much.